Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have a very interesting uh, trig equation here to solve. It's cosine of a 5t equal to half. So we're going to treat this one as one variable. Let's take a look at where the half happens in the first place. The best way to do this one, I always tell my students, is draw a unit circle. Okay, I put it this one as x. Since x cosine is the um, cosine is the x value, what you want to do is you find a half point here and you draw it upward, this gives you the reference angle. In our case here, it's 60 degrees. 60 degrees is equal to pi over 3, so this is where our reference point is. Okay, so from there, we're going to say 5t as the variable is equal to pi over 3 plus 2m pi, where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on and so forth. Okay, now the interesting part is coming up here. We, we need to solve for t. So t is equal to one-fifth pi over 3 plus 2m pi, where n is still the same definition, so on and so forth. Now, that's a customary that we find the first um, the angles, the t, within the 0 to 2 pi. So now, if your teacher didn't ask you this on the test, that's fine. But typically, when I put this kind of question on the test, I ask students to find me all the possible angles in the first um, 0 to 2 pi. So here's how we're going to find it. Okay. Now, if your teacher didn't ask, and then you stop over here. And this is a perfectly complete answer. Now, let's push further, a little bit further, to see what are the first few angles within the t to uh, 0 to 2 pi. Okay, So when n equal to 0, we have t equal to uh, pi over 15. As a matter of fact, let's, let's write this one in a better form here. So t is equal to mm, 1 over 5 times 3 over pi plus 6 and pi. Okay. So when t equal to when n equal to 0 we have t um, equal to pi over 15. When n equal to 1 we have t is equal to pi plus 6 pi over 15. Okay, that's still less than 2 pi. When n equal to 2, we have t is equal to uh, 13 pi over 15. Okay, that's still less than 2 pi. So you're going to keep on going until you reach n, uh, when t is greater than 2 pi. So when n equal to 3, I have uh, t equal to 19 pi over 15. Okay, that's still less than 2 pi, because 2 pi here should be 30 on top. Let's try one more. n equal to 4, and t is equal to... 25 pi over 15. Okay, this is going to be enough because when t, when n equal to 5, t is going to be equal to, um, let's say, 530. That's 31 pi over 15. And that's bigger than 2 pi. So we'll cross this one out. Okay, so all the unique answers, answers that's between 0 to 2 pi are laid out here. Now, once again, if your teacher didn't ask you this on the test, don't bother to do this, because it does take quite a bit of time. And perfect, legitimate answer is right over here. Okay, now most teachers do ask you, find when t is between 0 to 2 pi, find all the possible angles. And then what you do is you go through this process we did here. All right, hope this helps. Have a confident day.